Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we made it to the Sheik Tower in the Woodland area, and this time, we're gonna have a look around here a little bit more, and see what we can do. I want to quickly climb up here, because this is something I found very interesting, is that if we go up here, on top of the skull, there's a special sword here, called a Royal Claymore. And as it's right on top of a Sheikah Tower, it means that if a Blood Moon resets the world, you can just get Royal Claymores as much as you want, basically. As long as a Blood Moon respawns it. Or whatever else respawns. I don't know what respawns items sometimes, but I'm pretty sure it's just Blood Moons. A two-handed sword issued to the Hyrulean Royal Family's immediate guard detail. Its powerful strikes are said to crush an opponent's body and resolve alike. 52 attack. That's pretty good. Also, while we're here, we're right next to the Great Hyrule Forest, which is over there. We can see a big branchy, leafy, pink leaf thing over there. Tree. So, I think it's time we head over that way. Now, to do that, I'm probably going to head back towards... Jack, and then we're gonna follow the road, since we could have done that, and just pass this place. But I wanted to get the tower done, so we could actually see what we're doing, somewhat. Here we go. And let's head on to the forest. so nice being able to not even worry about controlling this right now. It's so useful. It gives the horses a lot more value and use rather than just walking around everywhere. Because if you're walking around anywhere, then horses aren't great. But anyway, looks like we've arrived at the edge of the forest. I think I'm going to leave Jack here for now. Thank you for your assistance, Jack. I might even give you an apple. Just because you're doing such a great job. Here you go. Well, there we go. Let's head on in. Oh, and there's crows and everything. Very cool looking. I think they're crows. Probably. We have a torch here. We actually have a trail of torches, which we can follow. Yes, but if we, uh... Go off the... the away from the torches a little bit. We get a white screen. And we get sent back, so... This really is the Lost Woods, basically. So we need to find a way to get through here. Otherwise, we'll have to restart every single time. So, let's do it. As you can see by following these trails of torches, we're doing alright. <laughs> Just need to follow the direction that the, um, the sparks from the fire are going. Since they seem to be different for each one. Oh, there we are. This way. Let's just keep going. And it seems... Like I'm lost. Hang on. Which way is that going? Oh, that way. To that torch way over there. Okay. I almost got... Went too far off track just then. But that's, that's okay. Well, some of these trees seem to have faces and mouths and stuff and it's kind of strange but I guess that's okay. Just look at this. It's got a face. It's got the mouth and it's got like two little happy eye things I guess. And there's actually a chest in here. Forest Dweller's Spear. The Koroks made this spear for Hylians. The shaft is made from a light. Uh, sturdy wood offering ease of use. The spearhead is made from a much harder wood, offering strength. 
That's actually a very clever way to do that, so. But anyway, let's drop that on the ground. And we have two torches here, which is showing that we're going to have to figure something else out in a second. But for now, let me just take a picture of this forest dweller's spear. Okay, and... Oh, I might be in trouble. I might be in a lot of trouble. No, I'm fine. Okay. So, we can see that this fire goes off in this direction. So let's just follow that. But, as you can see... Anything in there? No, nothing. As you can see... There's not really any torches over this way. I'm still here though. Not getting teleported away. Something over here. Yeah, I'm way off path, I'm pretty sure. Let's... Oh, there we go. So, what we need to do is grab this torch, except I don't have any more space weapons, so let's just throw up that branch. Also, the sky. Look at the blue green sky. It looks really cool from this angle. But anyway, let's take this torch, and if I grab this, the torch itself has its own trail of, of sparks. So we're going to follow those, I think. Also, I think you can just follow the way that the wind is blowing the particles in the air. Just the regular ones. We're gonna slowly head in this direction. This seems to be still good. Oh, and now it's moving this way. Let's go this way. Also, how, what happens if I just start a fire? Bad things, bad things, bad things. I don't think it's gonna spread that much, though. Let's keep following this trail and the wind. It's very difficult to follow the wind if you don't have a... If, if you don't have a, a the, the torch, it's going to be difficult. But anyway, it seems to be still going the right way. I feel like this is a trap to get this and then not have an arrow. But I, I could start another fire if I need to. I could also just try to follow the wind itself. Still blowing this way. Slowly. Oh, is it still going? Nope, it's turning this way. I heard something. Oh, something jumping around in the distance. Still going this way. So you definitely don't need a torch for this. But it's still fairly useful to have one. Okay, the wind's moving this way now. Pretty sure, yeah. Hopefully those aren't a type of bird that I need to take a picture of. This is actually where we were last time, I think. When the th thing teleported us back. Maybe? Although it could be just a different one. They could just all look similar. It looks like this is a center bit that we can go through though, so let's keep going through here. Pretty sure I've taken... No, I haven't taken a picture of a wood pigeon before. Missed. That's fine. Okay. Still in the middle of these cliff faces. Heading towards the center of the forest a little bit. And looks like we've actually done it. Welcome. If it'll show up, probably. I don't know if it's going to actually show up or not. But this is the Korok Forest. Nailed it. As you can see, there are a lot of Koroks just floating around watching us. But this area is exceptionally laggy, for some reason. It's very notorious for being laggy. But anyway, we have... A special sword here that you should recognize. 
and we have the option to pull. Let me try. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you! <sighs> Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm? Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. If you hope to pull a sword from its resting place, you must use your true strength. Let us see whether or not you, are cur you currently possess said power. Okay, so, now that we're here, we can see our hearts above us, so I'm going to probably quit out quickly. Why so fearful? Come back and try again once you found your determination. I will, I will. Just hang on. I just wanna... ...demonstrate this, I suppose. Just gonna max out... ...as much as possible. There we go. Let's go back to pulling. We have to hold A to pull. And as we pull... Our life force is slowly getting drained away. And if we don't have enough hearts... Here we are. You would have lost your life if you hadn't released your grip on the sword. Prepare before you try again, for I will not stay your, your hand part way through the next time. We will die. So, we need to get enough spirit orbs to get enough health to pull the Master Sword from where it stands. You can also take a picture of it, so I'm going to take a picture of it while it's in this stone here, so makes it look really cool. But yes, so let's have a look around here since we can. There's a few quests around here that I'm probably going to have to look at, at some point. But I'm just going to focus on the main tour for now. Leave it to Maka. Welcome, Mr. Hero. We're so excited you're here. 
If you need to know anything about these woods, just ask Maka. Or did you climb up here if you want to speak to the Deku Tree? Uh, tell me about the forest. The highlights here in Korok Forest are the Great Deku Tree and the Sp Sword Pedestal, of course. Although the Great Deku Tree probably isn't very happy about becoming a tourist trap. We've really decked out the inside of the Great Deku Tree in anticipation of your arrival. You'll find a place to rest and a bunch of other useful things in there. And then there's the Sword Pedestal, the sword that seals the darkness, which needs no introduction. Rest here. The sword pedestal is in the center is the center of the forest. If you stand on the pedestal and look around, you'll be able to understand most of the paths paths in the forest. The bean lamp lamps act as landmarks. You'll want to familiar familiarize yourself with them to make it easier to find your way around. And if you get turned around, you can always head on back to the sword pedestal. Do you need something else? Tell me about the sword. The sword that seals the darkness, to be wielded by you and you alone. You finally found it. We worked really hard to make sure no one else stumbled upon it. How did you like the lost woods? Did you get lost? Maybe just once. Well, you obviously made it through because you're here. Do you need something else? How do I leave? You want to leave the forest, but why? It's perfect here. Just kidding. I know you have to leave sometime, and you've got to save Hyrule. If you head east from the sword pedestal, there will be a sign on your right. Climb up the hill on the, the right side of the sign, and you'll see an uh, ogre tree. If you walk into that tree's mouth, you'll whoosh be taken to the entrance of the woods. We'll set it up. Uh, we set it up this way because even us Koroks don't like to walk through the Lost Woods if we can avoid it. Need something else? I actually want to find out about that, so... I don't think I've ever... I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, but I just don't remember it. So I go here and I head east. Well, speaking of heading east, there's also Hestu here. Since he's finally made it to the forest. This is the right way to go, right? Was it west? If it was west, I'm... Gonna be upset. Also, there's a shrine as well. I might as well get that done. Or at least marked, so I can do it later. It's very important to have a, uh, a way to teleport here, so... Did I listen to his instructions wrong? I might have listened to the instructions wrong. Which is quite impressive, really. You mentioned a sign, though. So there's obviously a sign somewhere. Let me listen to it again, just to make sure I'm not absolutely wrong. Hello! Okay, please. Uh, how do I leave? Go to the forest, right, why? Oh, sword pedestal. Oh my goodness. I... I need to stop skipping text too quickly. If you head east from the sword pedestal, that's where, that's the... Uh, there will be a sign on your right. Climb up the hill, and then, yeah. Okay. So, I know directions, so I should be able to figure this out. I go east a little bit, and there should be a sign on my right. Forest exit shortcut and the test of the woods the other way. So this way is this way is the exit, which is cool. So if we hop into that, it's gonna teleport us away, I guess. A note from Mecca. Just climb into this tree's mouth to leave the forest. I promise it won't eat you. Nom 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 nom. Okay, it's just... It's just basically you're just walking into the forest and getting lost. Basically. Yeah, just like that. So, this is a little bit back, I think. No, this is, this is actually the entrance. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to head back now, since I'm not done there yet. And I'm going to have a look 
and what's inside the Great Deku Tree. Which is just called the Deku Tree, I guess, in this version, I, I suppose. Not the Great Deku Tree, it's just the Deku Tree. Let's head in here. And we can see there's a cooking pot. There's a inn to stay at, so I can sleep here if we need to. There's also these things that we can pick up and throw. They're like pots, but anyway. There's even a goddess statue here. How many things do we have? Just for reference. Please. We've got three, so we need one more. So after we do the shrine, we can actually do that. We also have a shop here. Selling iron shroom. Rush room. Stemella shroom. Hearty truffle, which apparently I haven't taken a picture of. And razor shroom. Razor shroom. This mushroom is known for it, the natural uh, slice in its cap. Eating it uh, fosters your competitive spirit. When it well, use it when cooking to prepare a dish that will increase your strength. I think I've done. I think I've done hearty truffle already. And I probably have done iron shroom as well. Just a guess. There's also more to the shop over here, where we have hearty radish, apple, which I guess I could probably use at some point, uh, hearty and rice, cane sugar, arrows, and shock arrows. I'm pretty sure I have both of those already, so I don't need to worry about that. But that's pretty much everything here in Korok Forest. That's, uh, yeah, well, there's just a few more things, but that's the basic stuff out of the way. So anyway, thank you all for watching this episode, and I'll see you all next time.